Welcome back. We are here on Etero, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the commodities market and the precious metal market for Wednesday, March 4, 2021. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, the US dollar rallied significantly. We were up nearly one per, half a percent and then just collapsed. And we're roughly down at 30, 40 percent at one point. We're trading above the 20 exponential and the 50 and as long as that is the case they will offer the support and we may bounce from there a break below that opens the door to uh, 89.64 technical indicators are slowly turning around so we are technically trading sideways of a highs of a 91.5 and a very lows here at 90 uh, 89.17 so Yes, we're just going up and down, going sideways. We are not seeing this massive fall as we did um, the previous months. We're technically just trading sideways. We'll run into the 200 moving average eventually at, at some, some point, and that will basically determine whether or not we'll break to the upside or break to the downside. But that is several weeks, probably months in the, in the future. So let's look at oil. So oil has found ran into the 20 exponential right here at 59.30 uh, 39 and the question is whether or not we break below the 20 exponential or bounce from here so 50 and 65 is basically the target that is also where we found major resistance in the past but we haven't managed to get to that level so this probably could be as far as this will go if we break down from here, because if we break down, we'll head towards the 50 moving average at roughly uh, $55. Um, if we rally from here, then we could head towards the uh, $65 range and then break down towards 60 and 55. Uh, so at this point, yes, pay attention to the, to the 20 exponential. Uh, if it breaks down from here, it can get ugly and so on. Technical gears are fairly bearish at this point as it did not manage to, to rally today and has been breaking down quite six, substantially the, few, uh, the last few trading days. So let's look at natural gas. So uh, we found support at the 50 moving average. We are broken above the... Uh, the 20 exponential moving average and now we're heading towards the three dollar range technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point the macd needs to cross the signal line we're trading above zero here so or trending above zero here so that is a fairly bullish shine so it looks like we are creating a channel of uh, basically um, higher lows here so we could well be heading towards you know, the three dollar range if we manage to take out these previous highs here then we'll head towards uh, 3.20 so let's look at copper so copper just continues to uh, defy gravity we rallied broke down towards the 20 and then just absolutely crushed it today we were up more than two percent we are on the edge of being over overbought still and um, probably most of it is due to the us dollar depreciating significantly but this move was very parabolical we found support yet again i was i would basically think that we will break the 20 exponential and head towards the 50 but that is definitely not the case buying it at this point is very is very risky as we are on the edge of being overbought so pullbacks were the 20 that is at this moment still uh, risk, uh support and could be a buying opportunity so let's look at gold so yes, we have rallied quite the day and uh, we can put this house off for gold. We have this major resistant line at the top. We have this major support line at the bottom and we basically got really close to it um, uh, uh, today, but uh, then we rallied. And at this point, it looks like we're heading towards the 20 exponential around this area here. We're gonna find 17, uh, 1770. That is where we will find uh, the 20 exponential in probably one or two trading days. And then we'll see whether or not we manage to break above that. If we do, then we'll head to the 50 and probably the 200. And in the long run, we could head towards the highs here at roughly 1880 and then 
will continue down. We are in a downtrend. There is uh, no other way to basically describe this. Uh, remarkably, remarkably for gold at this stage that we are very bearish. But technical indicators are some of them turning around, for example, the stochastic. So we could have to be, have a rally up towards the 20 exponential. So let's look at silver. So we did break down the 50 moving average and then rallied. And now we're right in the middle of the 50 and the 20 exponential. So technical indicators here are turning around. So it looks fairly bullish for silver. If we manage to take out the, the $28 range, then we could head towards the $30, $30. That is basically our target here as we are slowly grinding to the upside. That is the previous highs here, previous highs here. And yes, the 50 and the 20 have offered quite a lot of support. So let's look at platinum. So also here, we broke down towards uh, 1167 and then rallied up towards the 20 and then did not manage to break above 20. We are trading right at the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, uh, we if we take out the 20 exponential, then we're heading towards the 1300. Otherwise, we roll over here and head towards 50 and moving average, which should offer significant support. Technical indicators are still fairly bearish at this point. So... Uh, Yes, there could be a lot of choppiness before uh, we see this go significantly higher. So let's look at Pallium. So nothing really happened here. We are still trading in the highs of 2.5, very lows of 2.2, and we're now right in the middle. The trade is at the moment is complete uh, gambling. And um, yes, I would, not, I would stay far away from this until we get to the top or the bottom. You know, or drop towards the 20, 200 moving average, which was major support a few weeks ago. So let's look at aluminium, which had an amazing day today. So we dropped towards the 200 moving average and then just completely exploded to the upside. Um, was not expecting that move, but but uh, if we manage to take out these previous highs here at 2.212, then we'll go significantly higher from here. We'll probably head towards 2.3. Um, but these moves is fairly probable. So a pullback to around half of this should be expected before going higher. The break towards the 20 exponential, that is major support. Technical indicators are very uh, bullish at this point, and we're on the edge of being overbought. So let's look at nickel. So we did break down towards the 50 moving average and then rallied and now we're settling right underneath the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. So at this point, it is more likely that we'll head towards these highs of 19, uh, 19,876. That is most likely what's going to happen here as the 50 offers significant, uh, significant support. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has finally found support down here at the 50 moving average and now it looks like we are about to turn around in this market break below the 50 opens the door to these very lows down here but at this point it would be very strange if we did not rally above the 20 exponential and head towards 0 0.1750 technical indicators are turning around so yes we have been dropping like a rock and now finally finding uh, ground here and turn around another green candlestick here that should be a very uh, bullish shine that we will go higher so let's look at cotton so cotton also found support here at the 50 uh, 20 exponential rallied broke down again and if we get to the 20 that will most likely rally again but at the moment we are most likely going to um get momentum here in order to take out these previous highs that will probably take a few trading days taking indicators are fairly all over the place and we'll probably trade sideways before going higher break below the 20 opposite the door to the 50 at 0 0.8241 so let's look at cocoa So as you can see, we have found support and resistant here at uh, basically the middle. We're trading at the very highs of uh, 2.8, very lows at 2.2. And also we have the mid range here of uh, 2.6 and 2.3. We are most likely going to run 
uh, we have run out of steam here and head back towards the 50 moving average and if that breaks the 200 and then 213 technical indicators are all turning around so yes this is basically all over the place so i haven't traded this for a really long time and the re main reason is is basically it's a nearly a full complete gamble at this point so let's look at wheat So wheat found support here at the 50 moving average and then it has rallied. So um, at this point, if we manage to take out these previous highs here, then we'll head towards 700. Technical indicators are looking fairly bullish at this point. So it is looking very nice for wheat. We are still in the uptrend. Pullbacks towards the 50 offer massive support and also rallies. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.